Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Master Talent Tutorial Series. In today's video, we are going to learn about TXML map component. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it and if you like my videos, then please share with your friends as well. Let's begin. The TXML map component is used to convert any sort of data into an XML structure. Let's see how we can do. So I have this source data which is a pipe delimited file. It has ID, author, title, genre, price, publish date and description column. This data belongs to books and I want this data to be converted into an XML which look, which look like this. So it will have this catalog element and then the book element. If you see the book element is a repetitive element and inside the book element we have author, uh, title, genre, price, publish, publish date and description. So let's see how we can convert the pipe delimited data into an XML using TXML map component. I have already created a talent job. Um, let me import TXML map component and T file input delimited component. Let me configure the T file input delimited component. I have selected the source file. I don't need the headers. My delimiter is pipe delimiter. Um, let me configure the columns as well. So how many columns I have? ID author genre publish date and description okay so t file input delimited component is configured now let me connect this to txml map using main row now in the txml map component we have to specify the structure of our output xml so create on the plus button click on the plus button uh, out one and this should be book and i want this to be as a document type okay apply hmm. now let me go to the structure of our output xml so this is how our xml will look like so what we have we have this catalog catalog as a root element So this root element I need to rename is to catalog and then I have okay. under catalog I have another element book. and inside the book i have another element so i am creating sub element one after another so this author title title is also inside the book element so i will right click on the book and create element title same thing right click on the book create element genre create element price publish date and the description hmm. if you see uh, there is one id 
so this is called attribute so i need to create one attribute as well for book so i will right click on the book and create attribute id this attribute is also created now uh, we have to map these input column to the output columns so the id will be mapped to the id attribute author will be mapped to author title will be mapped to title genre price publish date description okay so our mapping is completed apply close Everything is right over here. Hmm. Now, uh, to generate to store the data into uh, output file, we will we will require t file output XML component. T file output XML. Okay. Let me connect it now. Okay. So we have to since we are. Uh, storing the xml as a document right so we need to check this checkbox saying the incoming record is a document okay we have to provide location out one out one okay now uh, let me delete this out one so the configuration is done now let's run the job okay you see uh, we are extracting three rows is it so let's have a look at the output file which is generated So uh, for three source record, it has generated three output record, but I see there is one issue. If you see this XML tag is repeated thrice, we don't want this. So there is a setting for this uh, to fix this. Go to the TXML map, open this setting icon there is one option all in one so all in one is set to false right now we have to set it to true apply close now let me delete it first and let me run the job again hmm. now if you see uh, we are reading three records but we are uh, uh, we there is only one record going in the output file let's have a look at the output file now hmm. okay there is again some issue <laughs> let's try to fix it hmm. go to xml map okay so there is issue with the looping so if we we have to uh, we have to loop on the books because we are reading multiple records for books element so just right click on it and add, click on the as loop element so it will apply loop on the book instead of catalog now let's run the job again let me delete the output file first okay now let's check yeah now it is perfectly fine so we have this catalog book and so this is how we can convert 
a delimited data into a XML output. So if you have noticed, uh, I have created this component manually, right? This, uh, sorry, this elements I created manually. Now let me show you one more easier way. Let me copy uh, this txml map output. Hmm. I am going to disable this one. Okay, go to txml map create output now instead of instead of uh, creating this uh, field manually we have one other option of importing the structure so document type <clears throat> now let me show you the structure so this this is our expected output right this is how our data should look like so we can import this structure into xml map and it will automatically set the field and everything just click right just right click import from file go to the xml structure select it okay so this has imported all the metadata in the xml map you need to do the one thing so instead of uh, looping on the catalog, you have to add a loop on the box. Okay, done. Done, okay. Let me delete the output file and run the job. Okay. Here again, it is outputting three records. So we need to do the setting of putting all the record in one document. True. Okay, so now it has generated only one row. Let's check the output file. Okay, this is correct only. Mm, I think the structure is correct, but we are not getting any data. <laughs> uh, okay, my bad. So I forgot to map the columns. Let's map the column. Now we have mapped all the columns. Delete the output file first and run it again. Okay, let's check the output. Yeah, all right. So this is our output file and this is our structure. So the output file is matching with structure. That means we have successfully converted the pipe delimited data into our desired XML output. So this is how you can use the TXML map component in your project. Let me know if you face any issue while using this component. You can post your question in the comment box. I'll try to reply your question soon. Yeah. Thank you so much.